Everything I build is basically to custom order. So I'm ever since I've really set up Gus Guitars, I've been dealing on a one-to-one -one basis with customers. Usually the process will involve um, a backwards and forwards of emails to determine a spec, then I'll create a spec sheet that will be okayed, and then basically we start the build. But yeah, I like to give people, because, because I am a one-man band, I'm working on my own, and I've got complete control over the entire build process, you know, every part of the instrument, um, I, I can do so many different things. So I like to be able to offer people the opportunity to have their own, to, to give me their ideas, and then I can interpret them or maybe suggest what will work better than, than something else. Um, but es essentially, yeah, I, 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 I like to open it up to the customer to give them the opportunity to, um, to get the instrument that they, they're really after and, and, and then work that into my design. Because obviously I, I offer a range of different models, but they are sort of fixed models. But within that, there's, there's a lot of opportunity to interpret it to suit a particular customer. The most common thing that I change, I guess, is finish. And, and I mean, everyone's got their own idea of what they want in terms of paint but that can extend way beyond that into graphics and decals and, and dif different types of finish, not only with the paint actually, but with the metalwork as well, because obviously I create all the bridges and the knobs and everything, and I have to get those finished in a certain way. So once I polish them, they can be gold or chrome or black chrome or copper, or there's a num there's so many different things I can do with the metalwork as well. So um, yeah, the, the aesthetic side of it is, is quite a big part of, of, of the, the, the aspects that people change but it goes all the way through the process so yeah everything to do with the electronics the pickups the arrangement of the pickups the type of pickups the windings the magnets the so yeah or bridge spacings I mean that's that I suppose is the beauty of creating everything here is that if someone wants a slightly wider or narrower bridge spacing I can I can do that and that's 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 um quite a useful thing with uh, with all types of instruments but yeah particularly bass this is the bass that prince ordered after he'd received my guitar so a year ago he received the guitar that i had built for him nine years before i'd built this guitar a long time ago the g1 purple special um with the idea of getting it to prince it took a long time to achieve that but eventually it, it happened this is last year and very shortly after receiving the guitar sort of a matter of days really he was in touch to ask if I could make a bass like the guitar. Um, and that essentially became a commission, and that's what I've been working on for the last year. And it has really been a, a year, it's obviously been a very up and down year, because he died so sadly very shortly after he ordered the bass. It continued as a commission, um, and I continued to work on it, and it became more and more elaborate, I guess. It had started off as, as, a, as a reasonably basic project we'd, we'd had very uh, I'd had very little feedback in terms of the exact specification but I knew that he wanted the bass to be like the guitar so I decided that it had to be as close as I could achieve so um, not having done this before with the bass you know I, I carried over a lot of the processes from the guitar and replicated them with the bass so it's really as close as a match for the guitar as I could achieve I mean the G1 specials were a feature of my range before I decided to give one to Prince. The purple special was obviously tailored for him, mostly in terms of the colour and so on, but it's it's a G1 at the end of the day, it's a G1 hardtail with a, with a humbucker and a single neck um, pickup configuration. Um, so it's, it's my design, I mean many of his guitars were um, creations either by him or, or it's very closely linked with him or his tastes, so the cymbal guitar, the cloud guitar were, you know, designs that he'd worked on. Um, whereas I obviously came in sort of from the outside with the G1 and, and, he, and, and the fact that he accepted it and obviously liked it was a massive boost to me and, and it's so special um, because, you know, he hadn't really, he hadn't had any hand in the, in the process but I suppose throughout my uh, you know, having been in business for 20 odd years, really right from the start, people were saying, you know, that's the sort of guitar that Prince would play, which is possibly what pushed me into suggest you know, coming up with that purple one and trying to get it to him. Um, so, so yeah, it's, uh, it, it, it was a, it's a very exciting thing to do. 
Um, but yeah, the bass was obviously slightly different because he commissioned that. I wasn't just offering it to him. Um, but all I could really offer were my designs that I already had, and the G3 was the obvious one. So it was just a case of trying to make it as much like the guitar as I could, really. That was, that's the way I saw it.